Because you guys love my ship in a bottle video, I decided I'm going to try it again, but this time I'm going to do it a little different. I've already ordered another ship so we can try it again, but until that turns up, I figured I've got some of these micro machines and I'm sure I can do something with one of these. This is a cool looking boat, but unfortunately it's got people in it. I kind of feel bad trapping them underwater. There we go, that one's a bit better. Because the micro machine is a fair bit smaller than the Star Trek Enterprise, I'm able to make a smaller bottle. So the mold I'm going to use for this one is just a plastic cup. And instead of using burl, I thought I could take some of my leftover sand that I got from when I cast Aquaman, and I thought it'd look cool if I had the ship half buried on the seabed. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is mix some resin in with my sand, and then once it's started to set, I'll put it in and then I'll jam the boat in there. Check that out, that looks pretty cool. Now I'm just gonna mix up some blue resin, and pour it in over the top. You know what? I've got a real good feeling about this one. Oh no. Maybe I spoke too soon. A bit hard to see in there, but I've actually got another crack. This wasn't even a really deep pour. Wow, I didn't expect that. Can you see it? Kind of looks cool though. I guess I'm just going to have to take it out of this cup. I'm going to sand the bottom, put a waste block on it. And we'll just go spin it up on the lathe. So you guys would have just seen a series of clips where I tried to turn this on the lathe. And as you can see, I just couldn't get anywhere. Every time I put a tool to it, it had just blunted the chisel straight away. I even went to my sharpest chisel, which I know is super sharp. And you can see here, it just ground the end off. So it looks like that the sand that I used inside the casting is acting as an abrasive and it's just wearing down my sharp edge of the chisel. I really don't want to give up on this one. So I think what I might do is take it to the disc sander Try and get rid of a lot of this sand because this is where the neck of the bottle is going to be. And then once the sand's gone, I'll be able to turn the neck and hopefully we can still get a project out of it.
Working with sand is brutal. Did you see what it just did to my bloody sanding bobbin there? So I got rid of most of the sand. I think I might try and put it back on the lathe and try and get this neck sorted out. Not too sure what we're gonna do here, but I think I've got a bottle shape in mind that we might be able to get away with it. So I barely even touched the sand with that chisel and it went blunt instantly. So I think I'm going to have to go to my next step which is sanding. I'm going to keep it on the lathe. I'll run about a 40 grit sandpaper and see if we can shape this bottle up a little better. While I was looking for sandpaper, I found I've got this flappy disc. I think I might start with that. I'm definitely going to need something a bit aggressive and then I'll move up through the grits. So I've just finished sanding and polishing and I've got one final thing I want to try. When I made the Star Trek bottle, I put a cork in the end, but for this one, I want to try and do a wax seal. I pretty much have no idea how to do it. I've got myself a candle and some red dye and I'm just going to give it a go. Alright, so that really didn't go to plan, so let's try it again. And for this one, I actually pulled one off a bottle inside, so I'm actually not sure if it is wax or not, or just some different type of plastic. But we'll melt it up and we'll see if we can use it. I'm just going to go clean up the rest of this bottle and then we'll take a good look at it.
before I end this video, I just want to say how grateful I am at the response to last week's video. You guys smashed it out of the park with all the likes and shares. It's actually my most liked video of all time, and for that, I'm so grateful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.